After microwaving, I would go ahead and crush the eggshells. Some people choose to pulverize, but I find that too much work for me. I wear gloves because these little suckers will pierce your skin if you're not careful. I just lined the sink with the newspaper to catch the, the fly away. This part's really satisfying to hear the crunch. Obviously the finer you get it, the more surface area you'll have in contact with the vinegar. But I have so much eggshells, it's not really something I'm concerned with. A, work with less eggshells. B, have a bigger container. Those are possible fixes. <laughs> now there are several recipes for the ratio of eggshells to vinegar. I am going with the one to five. This container holds 10 cups with a little bit of headspace. And then I have a whole bunch of uh, ball canning jars that are three three cups but I'm gonna leave uh, quarter, three quarter inch to an inch of headspace so it's really two and a half I mean I'm gonna put two and a half uh, cups of vinegar instead of the whole full three So just take your whatever container you choose as you're measuring. This will be, this is a cup. And then I'm just gonna fill it up. A little stir and you're gonna get your bubbles which is your chemical reaction for a few hours depending on the amount of eggshell to vinegar ratio and then I'm gonna leave that for 20 to 30 days after this has stopped fizzing I'm gonna put a light cover on it keep the uh, excess or air and and bacteria from settling but still not oh, still letting the gas whatever gas is there come out so i like to use one of these ziplocky things maybe secure it with a rubber band but yeah it's a fun little Experiment to watch the bubbles and the eggshells go up and down, up and down. It's kind of cool. So I don't know how much vinegar I have left.
because I'm only going to do half a cup. This is why you want to leave headspace because this bubble bubbles are going to actually come out the top. more eggs where that came from. We consume roughly four or five eggs a day. So now I just gotta get my more vinegar. Someday I will learn my lesson. Mom. This is too much vinegar and too much eggshells and it's just gonna keep Mom. overflowing and overflowing and have an excess container here. But yeah, less vinegar, less eggshells.
So I'm going to microwave the eggshells for two minutes and one minute intervals to kill off any salmonella and so that it's nice and crunchy and easier to break. Of course you can put eggshells directly in the garden, either crushed up or whole. But it takes a lot longer for them to become available to your plants. Crushing them, putting them with the vinegar and having that chemical reaction makes it a good foliar spray or even uh, to water directly and allows the calcium uptake to be a lot quicker. So I'll store this in a cool dry place, probably under the kitchen sink. And in 20 to 30 days, I'll be able to use the water to either foliar spray or directly water indoor plants and outdoor plants. And it's good for the whole summer, five to six months. After that, it's all right, but it's not gonna have as the potency that it has in the beginning. This I will put directly in the soil outside, mix it in. It'll be a slow process, but it will feed worms. It'll provide aeration and altogether a good way to use up eggshells. Happy gardening, everyone.